Good morning. My name is Robert Kleinhans. I'm the Chief Economist with the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation, otherwise known as the LAEDC. And so it was our organization that uh, produced the Otis Report in conjunction with the staff at Otis College, and um, which received funding from the California Arts Council. It's my pleasure to be here today. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, uh, speak here, uh, Committee Chairman and Senator Liu, Vice Chair, uh, state senators and, and assembly members of the Legislative Joint Committee on the Arts. Um, this report is a 156-page report. I won't read it from front to back, <laughs> but uh, in the amount of time that I do have available, what I'd like to do is just share some of the highlights, specifically with respect to the California economy and the impact of the creative industries on the California economy. I'll touch briefly on um, describing those constituent industries, uh, the size of the industry as a whole or the creative economy, the contribution that it makes. You've already heard some of those headline numbers. We'll touch briefly on the earnings and education of those working in these creative industries as well. So what is the creative economy? Uh, at first, the obvious uh, segments of the economy show up uh, we've got visual and performing arts. We have uh, a variety of other things, entertainment. There's art galleries and so on. But when you look at other industries where art, artistry, design is essential to what happens in those industries, you come up with a set of 11 industries plus arts education. Now, we didn't come up with this list ourselves. Uh, there's a growing body of research that's been conducted both here in the United States and globally, and the consensus seems to be building around this set of industries as being the core of the creative economy. So uh, I would just mention that as you look at this list of industries, we're not just looking at arts. We're looking at industries where things are made. So we're looking at manufacturing as well as services. And um, we're looking at uh, various aspects of these industries, um, including distribution in some cases. So we're casting a fairly wide net in order to come up with this definition of the creative economy. The creative economy in California adds up to 681,400 workers. This is as of 2012, distributed across those industries that I mentioned earlier. And um, of those, the top three are the entertainment industry, which would include the motion picture and sound recording industry. Uh, then there's publishing and printing. And then next there would be fashion. And the top three account for 59% of total creative employment in the state of California. Now, these industries are industries where uh, we not only have a lot of people working, but many of these industries pay well. Out of the 11 industries that appear here for which we have data, nine of them pay more than the average, I'm sorry, eight of them pay more than the average salary in the state of California in 2012. In 2012, that average salary was $56,000. And you can see that uh, uh, the eight are uh, paying from $73,800 on up. So not only are these well-paying industries, but the reason for so many of them being well-paying industries is that many of the creative workers are well-educated. Several of the occupations that have been identified by um, Bureau of Labor Statistics Research uh, as being creative occupations require at least a bachelor's degree. So you're looking at just under 50% requiring a bachelor's degree and another 35% requiring at least a high school degree. So we're not only looking at an industry that uh, adds so much uh, in terms of the arts, but really economically it adds quite a bit in terms of uh, ec incomes to uh, many households around the state of California. And again, I'm, I'm trying to get us all to expand our thinking about what constitutes creativity in the creative economy. We have a lot of creative occupations that are present in many of the industries, not just the so-called arts industries, whether you're looking at um, automotive manufacturing or you're looking at uh, any number of other industries. There's, there are people in various occupations uh, beginning at the top with, say, the, the manager of, um, of uh, of advertising and promotion, uh, all the way on down to very technical uh, occupations, all of which are classified as being a part of the creative occupations for the, for the nation and for the state. Now, just give me a second to explain this, gra uh, this graph. So as a part of our research, uh, we examined the concentration of the creative industries in California. 
And so what we did was we took a look at uh, what the concentration was of, of these various occupations relative to the nation as a whole. So if California has the same concentration as the U.S. as a whole, the value would be one, okay? If we had a lower concentration of a given occupation, the value would be less than one. Or higher, uh, the value would be higher than one. These are the top ten occupations in California based on this relative concentration measure. And if you take a look at the blue bars, you'll see that uh, out of the top ten, uh, six of them, I'm sorry, five of them are uh, found in the creative uh, occupations uh, here in the state of California. I just want to point one thing out, though. If you do take a look down at the uh, southern end of the state and you look at Los Angeles County, it turns out that all ten of the top ten occupations uh, fall in the creative industry or creative occupations. Uh, of course, we're interested in uh, where this all begins. It begins with arts education, and we tracked arts uh, enrollment over the course of the last several years, uh, partly because of cutbacks in, in education and other parts of the state budget, and also because of demographics. We um, are looking at a slight decline in enrollment going forward. The total number of students or college or student age population for California is on a trend to climb from about 2004 going forward. Uh, but you can see that as the recession hit, the share of arts students has a share of the total dipped and then slightly came back in 2011, 2012. So now let's talk a little bit about the contribution of the creative economy to the overall California economy. We'll begin with that 681,400 job count that was mentioned already. And when we account for the ripple effect through the rest of the economy, the indirect and indu induced job counts, as well as those direct job counts, we get to 1.4 million workers. And as you've heard, that translates into 9.7 percent of all workers in the creative, uh, of all workers, wage and salary workers in the state of California. Now, how did we get to that number? Uh, when, you, when you look at any type of industry, this is an analysis that's not just limited to this particular industry. When you look at any industry, you look at um, how those industries are, that industry is linked to other industries. And so uh, those linkages create ripple effects, whether it be um, using professional and business services. So, for example, if you're making a movie, there's an intellectual property issue. So you've got to have attorneys. When you're uh, filming, you have... Um, you have to have catering on site. Uh, there are a whole slew of other types of activities that are tied to that main creative activity. When we count or account for that ripple effect, we get from the 681,000 to 1.4 million jobs. And accompanying that 1.4 million jobs is labor income totaling almost a billion, almost a hundred billion dollars. Uh, so there's several metrics that are used to describe the economic contribution of uh, the creative industries to the California economy. Here are two. Um, in terms of the self-employed, the independent contractors, there are another 261,000 individuals in the state. The total value of output produced by the creative economy in 2012 was estimated to be $274 billion. And of that, the, the part that the creative economy can really lay claim to is value added, that's wages and profits, and that's $155 billion. This is an impressive amount. It's 7.8% of gross state product. And when you consider that the state of, of California, if it were a country, is the ninth largest economy in the world, we're looking at a fairly sizable percentage of a very large number. Now, of course, here in Sacramento, we're very interested in the fiscal impact when you consider the state and local taxes that um, accrue as a result of these creative industry activities. It totals $13 billion annually. $8 billion goes to the state. $5 billion goes to local. We're looking at state and local uh, property and sales taxes as well as income taxes. So we put all this together. And we recognize that this is, not, this is not a discussion about art for art's sake. It goes way beyond that. Here we are in the digital age. Um, ideas and, and information fuel economic activity like never before. How do you take those ideas and turn them into something that other people will relate to? Oftentimes it's some aspect of arts or design, such as this PowerPoint presentation, that enables us to go from numbers 
to concept to visualization and so on. So this is really um, an assertion that, the, that creativity lies behind the lifeblood of what makes our economy go forward, innovation and invention. So we've documented the contribution of the creative economy to the state and local economies. We're acknowledging that the creative economy is a vital part of uh, California's 21st century economy, and we know that it's an essential part of the state's future and future competitiveness and future economic prosperity. Thank you. Thank you.